There are right and wrong ways to lift, move, push, pull, and carry heavy objects. And in EMS, it's all about equipment and patience. In a perfect world, you would always lift the right way, but sometimes patient position, space, terrain, and other hazards make this difficult. To minimize risk in these situations, utilize all of the tools and techniques at your disposal to avoid injury and make your job easier. Your body is the ultimate tool that you have, and in order to make the best use of adjuncts like cots, backboards, and other equipment, you need to have the ability to use yourself to your full advantage. To use your body in the most efficient manner and reduce strain on your body and the risk of injury, there are three very simple and incredible tricks that you can use to increase your biomechanical efficiency and make your patient handling tools even more effective. These tricks are, number one, rooting the floor. Number two is the hip hinge. And number three is a neutral spine lifting posture. Rooting the floor. Sounds kind of funny, and it's hard to root your mind around, but this is a great trick when you're lifting any heavy object or when you're stepping up into the truck. When preparing to lift a spine board or a stretcher from the ground, place your feet in a slightly wider than shoulder width kind of a distance and root your feet to the floor. Visualize gluing your entire bare foot to the floor or making a perfect footprint in some freshly poured concrete. Putting your body into this ready position will make any lift you do safer and it increases your mechanical efficiency. Rooting stops you from lifting off the toes and helps you maintain a flat back posture during any lifting movement. This technique increases your balance and makes your gluteal muscles fire properly, relieving your back of additional strain. The hip hinge, step number two, places your spine and pelvis in the optimal position for transferring or lifting. This is really the correct way to perform a squat and a bend at the hips. A good bend is initiated at the hip and not the lower back or knees. You literally hinge yourself at your hips. Those who don't perform this movement tend to favor bending through their backs and are predisposed to developing low back pain and poor performance. Neutral spine lifting posture involves following two steps that place your torso and upper body in optimal lifting position, head up and shoulders back. If your head is up, your back is always in a safe position. Never look down during a lift or a transfer. Keep your eyes up and straight ahead at all times. When performing a two-man lift with a stretcher or spine board, it always helps to look your partner directly in the eye. This keeps your head up, reminds you to maintain good body mechanics, and helps communication during the lift. Keeping your shoulders back when you perform any physical task. This is the best way to transfer the forces of an exterior load from your extremities into your core, such as when you lift a patient on a spine board. Simply keeping your shoulder blades in mid-back pulled slightly down and back accomplishes this task. Think no shrugs, keep your head up, and you are well on your way to staying injury-free.